everyone and welcome to our video today. So today I'm going to take you through some of my favourite conditioning exercises which are really great for dancers and for acrobats but also just for anybody who wants to do some conditioning to work on various muscle sets. We're going to start off with some ab work and then move on to some other body areas, our backs and our arms. So without further ado, just a couple of things for you guys to think about before we get going. Please make sure, first of all, that you've got a nice clear space to work in, nothing that you can trip on or slip on, and ideally you're going to need a mat just to protect your back uh, or your body from anything that we do on the floor. Also, please do make sure you've got a drink with you and do take a drink at any time during this video. It's really important to keep hydrated, so pop the video on pause anytime, grab yourself a drink. And lastly, please do make sure you've done a really good warm up before joining in with this video. We have warm ups available on our YouTube channel, also you can check out our Facebook page. So please find a warm up, follow along with that. Just make sure that you've prepared your body, you've protected all of your muscles and joints because we've got them nice and warm before we get going. Okay, so let's start off down on the floor with our ab workout. Now, the ab workout I like to do is basically nine minutes of intensity. So we're gonna work really hard for nine minutes, which means you have in your mind that it's got a finite end and it sort of gives you that goal to aim for. So we're going to take five exercises. Before we start the nine minute little circuit, I'm just going to explain every single exercise and highlight some teaching points for you guys to look out or to make sure that you're doing the exercises safely. So our first exercise is going to be a V-sit. Now, I always like to include a V-sit, mainly because I used to find it really the most challenging of all the ab exercises. And so I felt like now I just want to do it all the time because it's so good for you and gets you really strong. So with the V-sit, you've got lots of different options, okay? We can start off with the most basic option, which is just going to be our baby V, where you have your legs bent up, and we're just going to have our hands on our thighs, and we're going to slide up our thighs and try and lift the toes off the floor, and then slide back down again. So sliding up and back down again. So that's our baby V sit, or baby V as I call it. Next option, you've got the V sit with the legs straight and you're still going to have your arms in front of you. So your fingers are going to trace along your thighs to start with. Lift the upper body and legs at the same time and come up to a nice V shape and then back down again. Lift and down. Or you can go for the full V sit, which is the arms above the head, starting off in that nice dish shape. So reaching up and down, up and down like a pair of scissors, okay? So please choose whichever option is gonna work best for you. Second exercise that we're going to be doing today is a small sit-up, so focusing on this area of the abs. A small sit-up with a twist, so we're gonna get into the obliques as well. So for this one, have both of your feet planted firmly on the floor, about hip width apart. We're going to start off by pulling our belly button down to our spine, so we're nicely engaged in the abs. From here, just have your hands in front of you, and we're going to take just a basic sit-up, so just a small one, this is only working the abs. If we come all the way up, we're actually engaging the hip flexors. Now, there's nothing wrong with that, but I want us to focus just on the abs for the moment. So, let's do the small sit-up, twist to the side, twist to the other side, back to the centre, and down. Up, twist, twist, centre, down. Up, twist, twist, centre, down. Now if you find that your neck starts to ache doing this one, just pop your hands behind your head and you can do the exercise here, supporting your neck. But make sure that you don't hold on your neck. We don't want to see this, okay? It's going to really, really strain your neck and feel quite painful. So that's our second exercise, the small sit up with the little twist. Third exercise, we're going to do iron butterflies. So, for this one, again, we've got a couple of different options, okay? For the first option for your iron butterflies, we can do this one just with our feet on the floor, have your hands onto your knees, and all you're going to do is sit backwards and come back up again. Sitting back and coming up. If you find that is also still a little bit problematic, just pop your hands behind you so you're leaning a little bit of your weight onto your hands, but try not to take all of your weight. You want to make your abs have a really good workout, okay? 
So that's the first option, the more basic option. The full option for your iron butterflies is with your legs up and we're holding onto our knees to start with. We open out and then come back up again. Open out and back up. So I guess you look a bit like a butterfly. If butterflies it's sit up, that is of course. So that's exercise number three. Exercise number four, we are going to do some butt raises. So uh, butt raises are a really difficult exercise actually because we tend to want to use momentum with these. So we're gonna try not to do that. We're trying to keep them under control. So you've got your legs up in the air. For the more basic option, just place your hands underneath your bum. All we're going to do is try and push the toes up towards the ceiling and back down again. So we lift up and down, up and down. Now, you'll think, uh, you'll hear what I said about momentum. If we start using our, our momentum, what happens is we start swaying like this, yeah? And that's kind of defeating the purpose of this exercise. So really try to think of putting a little pause in at the end of each repetition. So it goes up and down, little pause, up and down, little pause. To make it a bit harder, just have your arms out to the side or down by your side, up and down. And we'll try to get those legs nice and high in the air. Okay, so fourth exercise is our butt raises. Fifth exercise and our last exercise is going to be our flutter kicks. Now this is a real burner, this one. So make sure you choose your level for this exercise nice and carefully, okay? For the flutter kicks, our more basic option to start off with is lying down and we're going to have the legs lifted with the knees bent. From here, we're just going to change one leg over, then the other, pushing one towards the floor, lifting one up a little bit higher. So this is our more basic option. Now, the harder option is to do this with our legs extended. So nice straight legs and making our flutter kicks from here. If you want to make this into a lovely option for dancers, we can actually do the fifth to fifth. So we can do crisscross and we can do this lifting the legs up and down, lifting up and down. So you actually have three options on your flutter kicks there. So I hope that's given you guys lots and lots of different options to play with. Please, like I said, pick the one that works out best for you, okay? It's really important that you choose an exercise that you feel you can execute strongly and is going to benefit your body, rather than perhaps trying for something that is a little bit too hard or is going to get too fatiguing really, really quickly, and then you lose form or lose technique and then you're not going to be benefiting yourself. So, I think it's time for us to get going. Okay everyone, are we ready for our first set? We're going to work for 20 seconds and then take 20 seconds rest. So let's go with our V-sit to start with choosing the option that works best for you. Here we go. Now remember to keep breathing. Keep pulling that belly button in as well. Good, you're doing well. Last three seconds. Okay, and rest. We're gonna take 20 seconds rest. So we'll just think nice thoughts during this time. And then we're going to get ready for our small sit up with a twist to either side. So remember you can support the back of your neck on this one if you want to, or you can have your hands in front of you. So let's get going, here we go. Twist, twist, center, down. Now there's no rush. Just try and execute each repetition with a really nice strong technique. Feel that twist. And rest. Great job. 20 seconds goes really quickly actually. So our next one is our iron butterflies. Remember for this one, you've got your different options. You can do this one uh, with your hands on the floor. If you wanted to, we spoke about that one. Leaning back, or with the arms out, or with the feet up. Let's go. Really extend through the legs. Good, well done, keep going. And 
rest. Lovely. Right, next we've got our back raises. So this is the one where we're trying to put that little bit of a pause after each repetition as the bum comes down so that we know we're not using momentum. You can pop your hands underneath your bum to make it easier as well, if you remember. So let's get going with this one. Feet up in the air. Here we go. Make sure you're really controlling it. Try and push your toes right up to the ceiling. And rest. Great job. We've only got one uh, exercise left in this first set. So we're going to do our flutter kicks. So with the bent knees, changing over legs, or straight legs, changing over legs, or the dance option, doing the fifth to fifth, squeezing those inner thighs as well. Here we go. So first option, or the harder option with straight legs, or our fifth to fifth. So your choice. Good, keep going, keep going, we're nearly there. And rest. Fantastic everyone, well done. That is our first set over and done with. So second set, we're gonna do all that all over again. In between each repetition, uh, sorry, each exercise, this time we're gonna put in a plank so that you have active rest. So you have your options with your plank. You can either do this in the three quarters, which is with our knees on the floor and hands out. So you're holding a strong shape here. Or you can go for your full plank with a nice long body. Okay? Or you don't have to do it at all, I guess. You can still just rest if you want to. But ideally, we're going to be putting in that plank to give us a little bit of an extra boost into this set. Okay, so let's prepare ourselves for our V-sits again. Just remember to try and keep a nice rhythm Feel all the technique working and don't forget to breathe. Okay, here we go. Good, keep going. Last one. And into our plank. So we want to hold this now for our 20 seconds of rest. Keep your arms nice and strong. Lift your belly up. Squeeze everything in there. We're going to do our small sit-ups with twist next. So let's prepare ourselves. Sit up and twist. Here we go. Remember no rush. It's not about how many you do. It's about how well you do them. You guys are doing great. Stick with it. Okay, let's go to that plank again. Lovely bit of active rest here. Now then, what have we got next? Iron butterflies. Okay, so we'll think about, again, controlling everything. Keep this plank nice and strong while we're waiting. All right, let's prep for those iron butterflies. Here we go. Great job. Keep that form. Well done. And let's go for our plank. So nice and strong in this plank. Got our butt raises next. Keep breathing. It's important to keep the oxygen going into your body. Right, let's go for it. Butt raises. Here we go. Nice and controlled. Squeeze your belly in. Keep putting your navel towards your spine. Well done, everyone. Nearly there. And plank. Great job. We've got one left in this set. It's our flutter kicks next, okay? So, this one is a quick one, actually, to be fair. Um, we want to move with speed, but again, Really focusing on the technique. It's all about the technique. Okay, 
Let's go for our flutter kicks. So remember your different options. Up to you which one you want to do. You can do the ballet one, the crisscross, the straight legs, or the bent legs. Your choice. Nearly there. And rest. Awesome. Well done, everyone. That is set two. Swipe. It's done. Okay, so we're going to go for set three now. So in set three, we're going to have our active rest again in our plank. But this time, we can do an extra little bonus uh, in the active rest. We're just going to put in something for your shoulders. So when you're in the plank, you have the option of doing shoulder rocks, okay? Now, before we do this, just be aware, this is quite a lot of stress on the wrists if you're doing plank with straight arms. It's a really good exercise for acrobats um, and for anybody that has to use their upper body really strongly. So that's why I'm suggesting it for you guys, because I'm sure, you know, you like the exercises for the acro. Um, but it is a tricky one. So shoulder rocks look like this. We push our weight forwards and then come back. Forwards and back. Forwards and back. If you find it really, really hard in the straight arm position on the wrist, you can do this down on your elbows. Forwards and back. Which takes the pressure off of the wrists. So it's up to you. Or just hold the plank nice and still. Okay? So, lots of different options again there for everybody. We've got one more set to go. It's gonna be the best set. Okay, are you guys ready to work? Remember, this is nine minutes of intensity. We're pretty much nearly there. One set left, the best set. Prepare yourselves for your V-sits. Okay, here we go. Great job, keep going. Keep breathing. Okay, and into that plank with the shoulder rock if you want. Keep it under control. Great job, guys. Lift those bellies up. Okay, we're straight away into our small sit ups with the twist. Let's do it. Slow it down, twist, twist, centre, down, up, twist, twist, centre, down. Keep breathing. Good. Okay, plank with the shoulder rocks. Here we go. Remember you can do this on your elbows if you prefer. You really feel this in the abs when you're doing this exercise as well, now. Okay, iron butterflies. Let's do it. No excuses. Keep breathing. You guys are looking awesome. You're doing such a great job. You should be really proud of yourselves. Come on. Nearly there. Right, plank. So we've only got two exercises left now. So we're nearly there. Well done. Okay. Here we go. That raises. Nice and controlled. Well done everyone, toes up to the ceiling, no swinging. And into our plank, so this is the last time we're doing the plank. I've got a proper bead on, it's quite warm in here today. Make sure you guys do take a drink out of this, eh? Just keep hydrated. Okay, flutter kicks, here we go. Nice and fast. But straight legs. Lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Good, keep going, keep going, you can do it. It's only another five seconds. And stop. Woo! Great work, everyone. 
one. Well done. Okay, so like I said, maybe pop the video on pause right now. Go and grab yourselves a drink before we carry on. So let's carry on now with a couple of back exercises because we work the front really hard. You need to do the same to the back. So these exercises are designed to really strengthen your back. Um, if you're an acrobat or a dancer, then these are going to be great exercises for you. For your arabesque work for anything where you're in a back bend. It will also help improve your flexibility to a degree, depending on how you do these exercises. But they're mainly about strength, okay? So, we're going to go a little bit full out here. I'm just giving you guys fair warning, okay? The first exercise we're going to do is a back raise. But again, I am going to give you options. So, your basic option for your back raise is with your hands just onto your legs. And all you're going to do is just reach your hands back to the your toes, looking down towards the floor so in a nice straight line, and then back down again. Reaching and down. So you're just working into the back to get that nice lifted feeling. If you want to make that a little bit harder, then you can bring your arms in front to your head. So you're lifting and down, lifting and down. So with that one, all you've done is added weight, essentially your arm weight to the top end of your body. So your back is having to do a little bit more work to lift itself off of the ground. Now then, the exercise, uh, the version of the exercise that I'm actually gonna do, like I said to you, is a little bit full out, but that's what we need for acro work and for dance work, um, is we're gonna do a really full back raise. So it's as high as you can get yourself in your back raise before you come back down again without using momentum and just throwing yourself at it. So, for this one, it's the same premise, but we're just uh, extrapolating the exercise. So we're going to start here with our hands lifted, and we're going to imagine that our fingers pull back, and we pull right up, and down. Pull right up, and down. Now, you might not get up as far as that, okay? That's 41 years of practicing this exercise, I guess. Um, so don't be discouraged if you don't get that far to start with. We've all got to start somewhere, so you might be a little bit lower down, and that's fine. Work to uh, your limit, because you want to push to your limit, but don't be disheartened if it's not quite as high as the one that I've just shown. And there's probably a million people who can do it way better than me as well, so you know, we all have something to aspire to, but we're challenging ourselves, okay? The only person we need to worry about comparing ourselves to is ourselves. So, with that having been said, we are gonna do 10 repetitions of this exercise. Either the basic one, like I showed you, with your fingers reaching towards your toes, hands to the head, that's the second version, or the full crazy version that I just showed you with the full back pick up. So I'm gonna do that one just because it's the one that I'm used to doing. You guys please pick your own. We're gonna to count to 10 together. Are you ready? Let's do it. Here we go, under control. One. Two. Three. That's a bit like Sesame Street, doesn't it? Four. Is it the count that used to do this? Five, with the crazy laughing in between. Six. Nearly there. Seven. Try and keep your toes on the floor. Eight. So half. Nine. Last one. Ten. Great job, guys. Let's just push back into our heels and just stretch the back out the other way, okay? Relax the head down. Just stay there, enjoy that relaxation stretch for a moment because we're gonna go back in and do another exercise in about five seconds. Okay, so next exercise for the back. We're only gonna do two back exercises in this conditioning section today. We're going to do one with a little bit of a twist. So again, this is really great for your arabesque, actually. Um, what we're going to do is the equivalent of, if you're doing a sit-up, you'd be doing sideways twists like a Roman twist. So it's kind of like that, but for the back. So we all want to have our hands to our head, if we can. Okay, again, I will show you a more basic option in just a second. This one doesn't work for you. So we're going to take a twist as we lift our back. And at the same time, we're going to try and lift the opposite leg. So if I'm twisting this way, I'm going to be lifting the opposite leg. And then reverse onto the other side.
okay? So it's quite a heavy exercise actually. Now if that is a bit too much with the hands on the head, just have your hands in front of you here in this kind of sphinx position. And you can use your hands to push up and look the opposite way as you lift the leg. Okay? So try again not to push too much through your hands. The idea is, is that you're training your back to get stronger. So try to take your own body weight as much as you can, almost like your hands weren't there. Okay? But that's your more basic option if you find that putting your hands on your head is just not working for you today. Okay? So let's go for 10 of our twists. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job, guys. Again, just sit back into that child's pose and relax. Great job, just roll through the back because we have got just one exercise left today, which is going to be one for our arms. So, good old arm exercises without the use of any equipment because not everybody's got equipment in their houses. What can we do for our arms? Oh, well, there's a lot of things that we can do actually. But today, I mean, we can do press ups, we can do all sorts of things. Today, though, we're going to work on the triceps, so the back of the arms which is like a really tiny muscle actually, and to be fair, doesn't get an awful lot of work in a normal uh, sort of daily basis, so it's good to do some exercises for it. So, we're just gonna do a tricep dip. Really simple, but of course I'm gonna give you those options again. So, basic tricep dip. You need to point your fingers the same way as your toes and have them behind you. So we're sitting up, nice and tall. Now all we're going to do is put our weight backwards, we're squeezing into those arms and then push strongly upwards. So the, uh, uh, the movement that the tricep makes is actually to straighten the arm, that's what it does in terms of its action and of course it slows us down as well when we bend our arm it has the eccentric action as well as the concentric. So when we do this exercise, really think about pushing our arms straight, squeezing, because that's what you're going to get into those triceps, okay? So basic option is right here. If you want to make it a little bit harder, we're going to take our bum off the floor. So we take our tricep dip here. Now this isn't just dropping your hips downward up. Make sure that you actually try and keep your hips lifted and it's all the work coming from the arms. This is all the work from the arms, okay? Third option, the even harder version, is we're going to take one leg into the air for each dip. So we would go dip and up, dip and up. So we have got three different options here for you guys. Please pick the one that suits you the best as always. And if you do this video on a regular basis, see if you can progress through the levels. It might take a little while, you know, we uh, didn't learn how to ride a bike in a single day, it takes a little while. But see if you can progress through the exercises. If you're starting with the basic one, so you can get to the next level and then the next level. Okay, we're gonna do 10 of these. So pick your level, everybody, and we're gonna go. Here we go. One, two, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Great job, everybody. We are going to do another set, okay, because we did two sets on our back. We actually did three sets on our abs. Probably in an ideal world, we would do three sets of these as well, but we don't want this video to go on for five hours, okay? If you want to do a third set, be my guest. But right now, let's do a second set. Here we go. One, two, three, keep going, four, five, Six, nice and strong. Seven, keep your fingers on the control as well. Eight, nine, navel to spine. Ten, awesome. 
Okay, so I blatantly just lied. We are gonna do that third set. Consider it a gift from me to you. Okay, we can do it, come on, third set. Give them a moment, shake your arms out if you need to. We're gonna stretch them out afterwards, okay? Right, let's do it, third set. Here we go. One, two, three, four, great work. Five, come on, you can do it. Six, seven, nearly there, eight, nine, last one, 10. Woo! Nicely done, everybody. Really great work. So, let's stretch out those triceps that we just worked really hard. Take one arm up to the ceiling, drop it behind your back, and we're just going to push from the front of the arm, or alternatively, you can pull this way. Please don't push down on your elbow joint though, it's really bad for you, it's gonna hurt. So we're just gonna take a nice stretch here for the tricep. That's it. You guys have worked super hard with those strength exercises, you should be really proud of yourselves. And do remember as well, again, get a drink, make sure you're staying hydrated. Let's swap over, drop the arm behind, pushing from the front or pulling backwards to suit your body. Good job guys. Hold that stretch there. Keep breathing. Now then, while we're here, since we did work those stomachs pretty strongly, we basically kind of stretched them out by doing our back exercises immediately afterwards. But just for good measure, let's take a nice stretch so hands in front of you, we're going to push up into the sphinx position, or if you want to go a little bit higher, come up to your cobra, just stretching out your abdominal muscles. Like I said, we pretty much did this with our back exercises, but it won't hurt to do again. So enjoy that stretch there. And then bring it down. Let's go back into child's pose once more. Just allow the back to relax. And come forwards, so you're just on your hands and knees, and let's lift the back up a little bit like an angry cat. And then back to neutral. Great. Okay, everybody, fantastic work on those exercises. So thank you guys so much for joining me today for those conditioning exercises. I hope that you really enjoyed doing them and I hope that if you can do them on a regular basis, maybe a couple of times a week, that you're going to feel the benefits from doing them. So thank you so much. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel if you want to see some more videos from us. We have all sorts of things. We have dance classes, we have more conditioning and strength work, uh, we have interviews and of course we have Chantry Dance performances as well. So hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button. We'd love to have you guys follow us. But thank you so much for today. Please make sure that you go and cool down now, eat a nutritious snack and get hydrated. Thanks so much, guys. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.